All right, welcome to the ground here in Sydney. Uh, today we're doing a flight under Melbourne in the brand new Latin BFR A340 uh, 300. Uh, we are South African 134 or Springbok 134 for our ATC call sign. Uh, there's an event right now, Milk Run Mondays, so we're fully staffed to ATC. Clock ground here soon and get IFR clearance. We're already loaded, pretty much, and ready to go. So yeah. Sitting ground, Springbok 134, request IFR clearance to Melbourne as filed. Springbok 134, the ground, you are clear to Melbourne via Wollongong flight plan route. Campy 6 departure, Wollongong transition, runway 16 right. Climb by the SID 25000, score 4707, departure 123 decimal zero. Alright, clear to Melbourne. Uh, via Wollongong flight plan route, can't be 6 departure and transition Wollongong, uh, runway 16 right, uh, climb to 5000, uh, squawk 4707, and departures on 123 decimal zero. Springbok 134. Springbok 134. Alright, let's put in my transponder code before I forget. Chuck that on. Springbok 134 requests push and start. Uh, all stations stand by one. Okay. Uh, Springbok 134 push and start approved. Push and start approved, Springbok 134. Uh, Alright. Uh, if you bleed on. Engine start, we're gonna go engine. 3 and 4 to start first. Wollongong transition runway 16 right. Climb by the city at 25,000, squawk 3745, departures 123 decimal zero. Alright, we have two good engine starts on our left, on our right engine, sorry. Let's do our right engines now. Uh, Alright, so we've been pushed back. Let's chuck it, chuck the dome light on. Um, engine's still coming up, so I'll wait for that. Let's chuck on some lights. No taxi lights on, do our stripes to auto. Alright, let's do our departure, so flaps one for the departure. Alright, cool. Two good engine uh two good engines, sorry, four good engine start. Alright, AP you can come off. Flight control check. Left rudder. Right rudder. Full elevator. Neutral. Right. Left. We're all good. Let's put some nose down trim. Let's do 2.5 down on the pitch trim. Break max. Oop, forgot the signs. Chuck them on. Arm speed break. Alright, we are ready for our taxi. Springbrook 134, ready for taxi. Springbrook 134, taxi Alpha Alpha 1 holding point 16 right. Alpha Alpha 1 holding point 16 right, Springbrook 134. Short, simple taxi today. Directly ahead of us and then to our left up to the holding point. Alright, let's turn off parking brake and we should just start moving forward. Because this thing likes to move forward even without some thrust. But we're going to add, add a little bit of thrust. Spring box 134, contact tower 120.5. 120 decimal 5, Springbok 134. Alright, over to tower. We'll call when we're, when we're short. Come around to Alpha 1. Senior tower, Springbok 134, short of 16 right on Alpha 1. Yes, uh, 134, g'day, Sydney tower. Uh, 
continue holding. Yeah, to the two aircraft holding, it's going to be about a while. I just got some few aircraft uh, coming in, and then I'll get you guys uh, out as soon as possible. Sorry there. Wait, what is... Uh, it's interesting that the scenery says this is Bravo 1, but on my charts, I'm on Alpha 1. So, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. So Jetstar A320 on final here. Solid. Let me give that an 8.9 out of 10. Springbrook 135, we be ready to go, sir. Yeah, we're ready to go. Springbrook 134. Okay, just prepare yourself. Alright, let's turn our lights on. So, I'm just sitting on my toe brakes right now, just so I'm ready to go. He said be ready, so I'm going to be ready. One thing about the Vantland VFR 340 is that you can't calibrate the throttles uh, to be certain to positions for like the climb detent and the flex detent. So I have to look at the throttles to get it into the flex detent. So I might, if I have to really quick, I might just go full toga and then um, worry about it later. Springbrook uh, 134, running 16 right, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 16 right, Springbrook 134. Alright, let's go. Well, 35, so thank you very much. Welcome to the city. You can contact uh, ground on 126 decimal Thank you very much for flying. Springbook 134, fan ready. 116 right. You're cleared for a take, uh, for take off, sorry. Clear for take off, 116 right. Springbook 134. Alright, let's go. 40%. Stable. And tug up. Do not going to go neutral on the stick. Rotate. Pulls the right gear up. Flaps and slats up. 500 feet, begin the turn. Climb. Controls are a bit touchy. Disarm the speed brakes. It's like Sydney Tower's gone MIA here. Alright, autopilot's on. From Rook 134, you can go to Unicom, I believe, on 122.8. They're not on there. 122.8, see you later, Spring Rook 134. Alright, no departure, apparently. Oh no, departure's still showing online. Yep, there you go, there's an A cars. Scared the shit out of me. Sydney departure, Spring Rook 134 with you, 5000. Sorry, we got handed off to Unicom for some reason. Spigrick 134, departure's good, I had to find. Connors 35, turn all right, heading 090. First 340, Spring box 134, climb via the SID, flight level 280. Climb flight level 280 via the SID, Spring box 134. Two eight zero, twenty eight thousand feet.
Alright, we're nearly 10,000, so I'll chuck, chuck the lights off. And 10,000 will go to standard. Alright, the SID has a speed restriction of 270 knots, but the airplane wants to go to 320. So we're gonna manage that ourselves. Springbok 134, contact Melbourne Centre, 1290, days for linking. 129 decimal 8, g'day, Springbok 134. Alright, 129 decimal 8. Melbourne Centre, Springbok 134, with you climbing through flight level 124 for 280. We are approaching our top of the center. 505 stand by the cell 108201. Clear to 10 by the start, 10,000. QNH 1021, contact departure. Melbourne Center, Springbok 134 with you climbing through flight level 150 for 280. Springbok 134, Center, climb flight level 340. Climb flight level 340, Springbok 134. Alright. Didn't hear me the first time, but that's alright. Whoa. Had a live weather update and we just lost a ton of airspeed. We just lost all of our headwind. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Alright, welcome to our cruising altitude of 34,000 feet, or flight level 340. We have about 35 minutes left in route uh, until we should arrive into Melbourne. You can see below us, uh, we've got Canberra, uh, Australia's capital. Um, as we'll be flying over, actually see their main airport there with the blue lights. But um, yeah, uh, good approach, I mean sorry, not good approach, good departure even. Uh, slow climb, as usual, it's an A340-300. Uh, it's, it's a slow climber, it's a big hefty beast with four very underpowered engines. So yeah, 35 minutes to go, um, and I'll see you soon, so enjoy the cruise shots. Just a five eighteen, uh, eight firm so for the ATC to the north, continue on unit com one two two that's late not. Alright, welcome back. As you may have noticed, it's not night time anymore. I decided uh, just to change the time to make it not dark, so now it's about 6.30 in the morning instead of 6.30 at night. Um, so we have a beautiful sunrise, as you can see out the other side here. There you go, beautiful sunrise um, and a nice light approach into Melbourne. Springbrook 134, when ready, descend flight level 250. Descend to flight level 250, when ready, Springbrook 134. 
Right, we've got two five zero when ready. Alright, we're just about top of descent. Let's begin uh, descent at 3,000 feet per minute down to flight level 250. Station, Melbourne Centre is now closed. Uh, there's no further ATC services on route. Uh, approach is like to stay online for a moment. Uh, once in range of them, contact them on the appropriate frequency for now. Watch Unicom 1 to the desk Alright, Unicom. So Melbourne Approach, if he's still online, will be 132. Decimal nothing. Let's slow this right down a little bit. This is going at 2,000 feet per minute. Look at that wing a wobbling. Let's begin descent to 9,000 at 1,500 feet per minute just to get us down uh, as per the star. Oh um, man, the entirety of Melbourne just logged offline. Oh my god! Oh jeez, oh my god! Alright, we're going to Let's increase the descent rate yet again just to make sure we get below the 9,000 restriction by Waypoint Horus. Because there is a maximum uh, altitude of 9,000 feet at Horus. The meter as per the aircraft is 1025. Q and H. Let's chuck some lights on, why don't we? Now going through 10,000. Seeple sounds come on as well. Alright, let's see if uh, Melbourne ap uh, Approach is online. Melbourne Approach, Springbok 134. Springbok 134, Melbourne Approach. Uh, Springbok 134, we're at 9000, Leeds United Alpha arrival for runway 16. Springbok 134, descend by the star 3000, cleared ILS approach runway 16, report established. Descend via the star to 3000, uh, we'll report established ILS from a 16, Springbok 134. Alright, descend to, uh, let's do 5000 for the moment. I'll put us down at, I'm going to do 1500 feet per minute. Uh, so 2000 feet per minute to uh, 3000. 230 knots at NZEG. So now, I have flown this approach once before in this aircraft, and before, after we reached Nefer, it kind of turned to the left um, by about 20 degrees for some reason, didn't follow the track line. So we'll see what it does this time. Um, hopefully, it works normally. Another one, two. Another one, two. Uh, Melon, a flight up to your feet, Melbourne CBD, not above 2,500. Oh, kind of breaking through our 000 restriction 000 here. Okay, let's go down to 3,000 at minus 1,500 feet per minute. Let's slow it down to 210. Alright, let's go heading 248. Yeah, I'm the manly guarded in here, which is a bit annoying. Down to 3,000. Alright, let's begin to... Uh, let's slow it down. The sky force 9420, you're cleared the Lizzy 9 Alpha arrival, runway 16. To the first stage of flaps. 
I soon left a little bit here. Still following the star, roughly. Let's go to 235. 220, hopefully to capture the localizer. Right, localizer's captured. Let's take the flaps. We're a bit out to the right, that's alright. We'll come back over. Let's go next stage of flaps. Uh, let's go speed... 160. Do an auto-break slow, let's chuck oh, all the lights on. Do a gear down once we're established on the localizer. Today, right, glide slow. Uh, when ready, descend via the star 6000 mm Lincoln H1025. Right, chuck the gear down. Go full flaps. Pull down to our approach speed now. Springbok 134 is established ILS 16. Springbok 134, runway 16, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 16, Springbok 134. Alright, on the glide slope, uh, on the localizer, we have flaps full, spoilers armed, auto brakes. We're going to go low auto brakes today. We're going to go full reverse when we land. Nose landing, runway turnoffs on, super signs are on. We are all good to go. We're ready for our landing here. My airplane. My no, throttles as well. Come a bit higher, let's bring it back down. Continue. Alright, visual the runway now. Not worrying about the glide slope. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Ten. Retard. 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 Four in reverse. Six knots out of reverse, tap the brakes, roll it out here. We'll, uh, retract speed brakes, flaps up. We'll take the high speed exit on our left onto Golf. Springbok 134 vacated left on Golf. Springbok 134 taxi Golf Alpha to the Bay. Good night. Golf Alpha to the Bay. Good night. Springbok 134. Quickly stop. Get ourselves sorted. So lights come off. Taxi lights. Runway turnoffs can go off. APU's already coming on now. Right, taxi forward onto Golf. Uh, 
Uh, the standby is staff 3000, that include ILS. I'll report when I establish scaffold for money 420. There we go, Delta 8. Just make sure we get our nose lights off now. We'll go strobes, go off. B can stay on that logo, can stay on. Qantas 493, thanks, runway 16, cleared land. Runway 16, cleared to land, Qantas 493. And uh, Qantas 493, when you can, that's the width of the threshold, thanks. Qantas 493, sorry, you're requesting the wind over the threshold. Ah, uh, yeah, I turn. Uh, wind 240 degrees 7 knots. Cheers. Right, stop there. Chuck on the parking brake. Oh, let's go to external power. Then we'll go shut down all our engines. Alright, we're going to ground here in Melbourne. Uh, it was a good flight. Really enjoyed that. Uh, for some reason, the jetway isn't working, but we are deboarding the passengers now. Um, I guess on a turn around. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that flight. The Latin VFR A340 300. Overall, it's what you can expect from Latin VFR. It's not amazing. It's not PMG Phoenix level. But it's usable. And I think I demonstrated it today. It's, it's fairly usable on the VATSIM network. You can follow uh, SIDS and STARS fairly well. Uh, although you pretty much do have to guide it manually sometimes to get what you need. But overall, it's, it's an alright product. The 3D model itself is great. Uh, the cockpit is fine. Obviously, some... Buttons don't work, um, but again, Latin VFR, not expecting a full fidelity aircraft here. Overall, it's it's alright. I would recommend it if you're really looking for an A340, sure, go for it, but if you're not really looking for an A340 or you're not, you know, you're not super keen on it, maybe I'd wait until something better comes out. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments, and I will see you next time.